All right, everybody, if we, as we have stated in previous videos, when we had our trailer spec built, I've been kicking myself ever since because I did not have them install straight axles. Uh, I uh, opted to go with the standard 4-inch drop axles. Now, I do appreciate the handling characteristics going down the road, but uh, when we go to set up at a campsite, uh, because of my drains, my sewer drains, which are on the other side. Let's step over here and take a look at that. Because my sewer drains, and I've got them tucked up just as far as I possibly can. If you look closely, you should be able to see uh, that sewer drain just barely sticking out right there, and that's for the kitchen. And then up here, we have this sewer drain here, and of course that's for the bathroom area, because the bathroom area is up front. So, I have to raise my trailer pretty high. Don't we, dear? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have to raise it pretty tall. Uh, I like to raise it, uh, you know, somewhere between four to six inches. And I've been using a combination of, uh, I like to refer to them as Lego blocks, but these are these Cam Campco uh, stackable blocks here. And I intend to get one more set of the large ones. I have enough to do what I need to do right now, um, but one more set of the larger ones will make it a little bit easier. So what I've come up with here, to make it simpler, sometimes you have a situation where you have to use uh, four blocks on one side and two blocks on the other. Just all depends on how, how, far, how far off the uh, pad is from side to side. And in the old days, what I would do before I came up with this board here, I had to literally build a pyramid you know where you had it tapered off on both ends and if you only had to go two blocks high on one side and and four blocks high on the other the longer side it was easy to figure out where you needed to slide it you know when you went to put it in behind your wheels but on the shorter side to make sure it came out correct you had to guess as to exactly where to place the uh, the blocks behind the tires before you backed up on them well, by coming up with this board system here, there's no way that I can get it wrong. Uh, and we're fixing to show you what we mean there. So uh, we're getting ready to start stacking blocks out. One thing I will point out before we move further, let's walk up here. First thing I do when I pull in, I don't worry about uh, forward and aft level because that'll be taken care of after I get it leveled side to side. But the first thing I do is I lay a level up here and see where I'm at and let me see if I hope you can see the bubble there on that but as you can see the bubble is almost completely off center right there hopefully you can see that I'm using my uh, chest harness for this now what that tells me is and I've just learned how to read this because I've been setting this thing up and down you know for the last year or so what that tells me is that in order to get it uh, level side to side I need to raise the opposite side of the trailer one block more than this side here. So uh, we're going to stack them out accordingly. I want to use four blocks on the other side high. I want to go four blocks high on the opposite side. So I'm just going to go three blocks high on this side. Now three blocks will get me, just by the blocks alone, will get me three and a half inches. Each block is an inch thick, but when you count the last block having these ribs on them here, uh, that's an extra half inch. So that gets me three and a half inches. So if you got three blocks high, that's three and a half inches. Then you count the inch and a half for that. So this side, I'll be raising five inches. The other side, I'll be raising six inches. Uh, because I'm going to use four blocks on that side and three blocks on this side. All right, we're getting ready to get started here. Here we go. I think this will come out the way I want. I always start out here, and as you can see, since I put this block here, since I put that block right there, that's, that's where it stops, right there. And you always start out with a half block. And since I'm, I still, even though I'm just going uh, three blocks high on this side, I still have to start out with four long blocks plus a half block for my first row. If I was only going uh, two blocks high, I could go three blocks, three long blocks and a half block for my first row. 
but since I'm going to go three blocks high, uh, I have to do, do what I'm doing here. So once you start there, okay, so now I've got, I've got a half block and then I've got one, two, three, four. Then what we do, we simply come back and we come back with a full block here and it helps if I have these lined up right. Come back with a full block. And here again, it helps if we have them lined up right. Another full block. And I've got this down to science. I can do it a lot faster when I'm not trying to film what we're doing here. Uh, another full block. And another full block. There. Now, as you can see, the stair step is working. I got the, the first stair step with the board, then the next step, and then the next step. Now, we want to go uh, one more higher, correct? On this side, want to go three blocks high on this side and four on the other. So since I've, now I'm on my third row, which is as high as I'm going to go. And once I get the first two rows stacked out with the long blocks so that everything ties together, I can go ahead and finish everything out because I'm limited on my long blocks. I can finish everything out on this side with the half blocks. So we'll go ahead and just finish stacking this out with the half blocks on this side. And there, that's all we need for that. Now, what we're going to do, and what I want to happen here, is I want to slide this forward. to where this, which would be right in the middle of, of, of a long block or right in the middle of two short blocks, uh, I want that to line up with the center of my wheel right there. So there, I've got that. And that way when I back it up, that's where it'll be. All right, now we're gonna go on the other side and get it done. On this other side, you can see I've got the board laid out and I went four blocks high. And you'll notice we got even stair step got uh, a half a block length with the uh, with the two by ten then uh, another half block for one more stair step half block half block so on and so forth until it goes to the top all right now all we have to do i'm going to get in the van and deb's going to be watching on the other side because it'll be the easiest one to do and it doesn't matter you can watch either side but she's going to watch me pull forward and when i get forward where the back of this tire here is even with the front of this board that's when she'll tell me to stop and then all we got to do is slide them in eyeball them and line them up and get both the ends of the boards right up against the back of the tire and uh, then we just back it up on there and we get it lifted just the way we want so give us just a second and we'll go ahead and, and do that be right back Okay, so as you can see here, Deb's got me lined up here. I pulled the van forward and she told me when to stop and that's real close. She's getting pretty good at eyeballing that right there. And uh, so I've got this board laying here and all I gotta do here is slide it over. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now and then eyeball it. <clears throat> like I say, I'm still fine tuning this a little bit. So I'm going to try to come up with some kind of a handle system or something which would make it easier to move these boards around. And we'll slide that up there like that. Kick this front over a little further. I also intend to make a mark in the center of the board with a magic marker so I can line it up with the center of the tread on the tire because I'm just kind of anal that way. Deb's always making fun of me because I'm anal when it comes to stuff like that. And then I eyeball this back here. Alrighty. Now basically what I try to do here, I try to eyeball 
and sight down the side of the trailer here and when I get to where it looks like I've got an even gap you know running right along there that tells me that I've got it pretty straight right there so this one is in place I'm gonna call that good I'm happy with that now we'll go over here and do the same thing and remember this one is four blocks high and the other one is three blocks high so we'll kind of get that lined up here and we'll eyeball it's not quite centered it needs to go like a 32nd of an inch there because these go like 32nd of an inch to be centered yeah right you know how i am all right then we'll eyeball this a little bit and it needs to come out just a little bit like that a little bit more all right that's pretty close right there now i also need to mention before i start doing all this I, I i figure out exactly where i want the trailer to end up you know so i had it in the position where i want it to end up once i get it leveled the way i want the other thing that i do i make sure that my van and my trailer are as straight as can be and if you look up there you'll notice that everything is straight so i don't have to worry about trying to cock my wheel one way or the other when I'm backing it up on these ramps. I want to be able to just get in there, start it up, put it in reverse, and ease right up on the blocks. And uh, so you, you can see where I've got that all set up that way. And you'll notice up here that, you know, my front wheels are pretty well straight right there. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to get in the van, and I'm going to start it up. And Deb is going to be watching as I ease up on these. And what she's going to do is she's going to watch the center of the wheel right here. She's going to eyeball down right here at the center of the wheel and have that line up with this spot right here. That's where we want it to line up, right here. And once we get that, and they should end up the same on both sides. So that's the whole idea behind doing it this way. So that's the next thing we're going to do. So hang on, we'll be right back. All right, well, Deb directed me just perfect. I mean, it really worked out really nice. So as you can see, they're lined up over here, and uh, it really helps when I can just take the end of that board on the far end over there and just put it right up against the back of the tires, and I'm going to land there every time. We'll go over here, and uh, you can see it's lined up where it's supposed to be over there. And as you can see, we're four blocks high on this side, and we are you know plus the plus the uh the two ten and on this side of course we're three blocks high so let's see if my ciphering worked out i estimated that i would need to go one block higher on the other side and looky there that is just almost perfectly level right there now all that's left to do uh is go ahead and unhook here and then uh i'll lay my level of course on the on the uh, platform here on the tongue and uh, get it level uh, forward and aft and we're all set up and ready to start dropping our stabilizer jacks uh, i'm going to be plenty high enough for my sewer drains to work the way i want to and uh, quite honestly it didn't take that long to get this all set up now i know it appears to be that way in the video but uh, i've already done this uh, you know four times or so four or five times and we pretty much got it down to a science. When we're not taking time to explain it, uh, it goes up pretty quick. And what's really neat about it, when we get ready to break down, we raise our leveling jacks, uh, we hook up to the van, and we just ease it right off the ramps, and then every, all these blocks just stack up, and we have a specific place for the blocks to go inside the van. So anyway, uh, still got a little bit of fine tuning to do. Like I say, I may uh, these boards were under ten dollars a piece to do this, 
and of course they're just uh, plain pine uh, two by tens uh, I'll probably end up making a new set I'm still working on a way to come up with a good wheel chalk here at the back um, I'll probably for a while just get me some 16 inch uh, cinder blocks and they will stack up there fine and uh, back up right against the back wheel uh, whenever I need to, uh, to, to chalk the t tires at the rear I do have the uh, the the wheel chalk set up you know that goes in between each tire here but uh, that only helps when you're sitting there when you get ready to hook back up to the van to tow it off you need to have wheel chocks either at the back of the tires or the front of the tires depending on which way the, the pad is uh, pointing um, to make sure it doesn't roll off until you get it hooked up onto the uh, onto the, uh, the the van and the next ones that I make will probably be made out of 2x12s rather than 2x10s just to give me a little bit uh, wider footprint for when we end up say around uh, sandy soil and of course we'll probably treat the wood or buy treated wood um, to do that so that because these are already starting to show they've been rained on a few times and things like that so they're already starting to show um, signs of warpage and things like that because they've been getting wet a few times so that's the next thing down the road all right that's it for now and uh, i i don't look too pretty but uh, deb always looks pretty Whatever. i tell her that every day <laughs> yes she always looks pretty and by the way we're setting up at a beautiful campground here uh, and we'll be telling you all about it here before too long so yeah we're on blue mountain lake in uh central central arkansas you would you say close to central, west central. yeah west central west central arkansas and uh, we we still have yet to do sightseeing around here so that's one of the next things we'll do we've got a few more minutes to finish setting up here and then we'll be ready to go fortunately this site here has uh, water at the site and it has 50 amp service so <laughs> we're we're going to be in hog heaven here that's for sure all right this is bill and deb with i ride tiny house adventures and we're saying we're not camping we're living absolutely y'all take care we'll see you again soon bye bye now